Hey, what's up? This is Generation of BMX. It's December the 26th, a yeah, day after Christmas. But hey, the story behind this is um, I made this purchase today. I went into the Abercrombie and Fitch store about a few days ago while my family and I were out Christmas shopping and I went in and I saw this jacket. It's an Abercrombie, uh, like a cargo jacket with a fur hood. I really, really liked the jacket. My wife didn't like it. Um, she tried to talk me out of getting it because she thought that since I'm 40 years old, I shouldn't be wearing Abercrombie and Fitch clothing. Um, I kind of disagree with that, but anyway, I didn't buy it. The thing about it is it's a $240 jacket and it was 60% off, which the price of the jacket was $111. I thought that was a steal. On top of me just loving the jacket, um, I thought that you know, hey, I should have got it, but I didn't. And I thought that was a good reason to get it also because of the price. But anyway, I came home. It's been a few days. I have not been able to get this coat off my mind. So I went to the store today and I bought it. And I want to show you what it looks like. Take it out of the bag here. I really like this jacket, man. It's in the olive color. I've always really liked these military style um, bomber jackets, if you want to call it that. These jackets, they got, they got all the pockets in them and they got the fur around the hood. A lot of people call them like uh, bomber jackets. I know there's different kinds, but um, I've always liked them. I've almost bought a couple of them at the military stores, but just never got around to it. This jacket kind of gives me that impression, this feeling, you know, like a, like a military style jacket. But here it is, Abercrombie. You see the price right there? That was originally $260 and it was 60% off. Really nice jacket. Stoked. But hey, I you know, I had it on my mind that, you know, my wife is trying to talk me out of buying this jacket. Saying that I'm too old to be wearing Abercrombie and Fitch clothes. And you know, I can respect that and I to a to a certain degree, um, I agree. But it's not like this is an ultra bling jacket. You know, that that is too gaudy or is really really overdoing it I, I really don't think that this jacket has that i mean the only thing that you can say anything about this jacket is it's got the fur on the hood and yeah you wouldn't see a 40 year old person wearing that but i still don't think that that fur on that hood is enough to say that hey i shouldn't be wearing that jacket so i talked to some of my friends um some of the bmx guys that i'm friends with and asked what they thought and they said hey man you know if you like that jacket then you should get it Nobody should criticize you or talk you down because of your choice in clothing. And that nobody should, you, you know, you need to be yourself. Be who you are and, and they should respect that. If anything, you know, that, you know, you guys can compromise, find a compromise on it. But, you know, I kind of took that, what he said, and I went with it. And I agree with him um, a lot on, you know, what he feels about, you know, that subject matter. But anyway, I went out and got it and here it is. And I'm going to wear this with confidence. I'm really stoked about it. And I want you guys to chime in and, and let me know what you think and what your take is on, on that subject of too old or not too old. And what is the cutoff? And when do you say, you know, enough is enough. It's time to move on with something else. Now, it's not like this is the only kind of clothing I wear. I've got, I've got polo. I wear other, you know, types of clothing. But for the last 12 years, Abercrombie & Fitch has been one of my... Um, it's been a big part of my wardrobe. I've got tons of t-shirts from them, tons of pairs of cargo pants. I like the way the clothing fits on me. Um, I like the way it looks on me. And, you know, I just got into the habit of, of that being uh, one of my, my main aspects of my wardrobe. So I'm going to put it on and I'll, let, and I'll uh, let you guys take a look at it on me and, and, and see what you think about it. Uh, I'm going to put it on here now and uh, 
you see what it looks like on me. I just like how the how the fur hood comes up around my head here to break the wind when it gets cold. I'm gonna zip it up so you can get a good look. It's kind of a it's a three-quarter coat that goes down past your waist, and I like that. Most of my jackets come down to here, and it's tight fitting. It's kind of like that muscle fit, muscle fashion, which Abercrombie is known for. And since I'm thin, I mean, I only weigh 145 pounds, and uh, I lift weights, I have a low body fat, it's a sport for me. So that's another reason why Abercrombie & Fitch is something that I like. Their clothing is kind of, is made for the thin, uh, athletic build person. But this is it. This is my jacket. This is what I got. What do you guys think? Do you think that this is something that I shouldn't be wearing at 40 years old? Do you think it makes me look um, like I'm trying to be somebody that I'm not, or that, you know, hey, he, he can't get out of the 20-year uh, the age range. He can't, he can't move on in his life. He can't wear older clothes for his time. The thing I hate about the older clothes that people should be wearing when they're in their 40s is it looks plain to me. I just hate it. I mean, I don't think that just because you're you're 40 years old, you should start being plain and conservative in life. You know, your clothing reflects your personality. Um, and uh, I just like fashion, I like the arts, and I like that kind of thing, and I want to, ref I want to show that in my fashion. I want to reflect that in my life, and, and it's just a part of me. So chime in with your thoughts and let me know what you guys think. All right, today's been a really good day. I got, uh, got a session in for about an hour on my bike and I worked out, got that out of the way. And now I'm gonna cook a late night dinner here and then just hang out for the rest of the night and enjoy the, uh, the remainder of my Christmas holiday. Enjoy some fish on the grill. It's one of my favorite meals. One thing about videotaping on your own when you've got nobody else around to do it, you have to learn to do everything with one hand. I love this stuff right here. And this is a generation of BMX, and I want to thank you for tuning in to my video. And as I said, drop a line and let me know what you think about the uh, too old or not too old to wear Abercrombie & Fitch clothing. Thanks again, guys. See you at the next video.